So in this question, they say, shown below is the configuration of four solid, solid spheres, each of radius 40 centimeter, right? So radius of the sphere is 40 centimeter. That is placed on four corners of regular tetrahedron. So this is a regular tetrahedron. Let's say these are corners of tetrahedron. Corners of tetrahedron and center of the spheres matches with each other. Now, radius of the sphere is 40 centimeters. So this radius is 40. And side of the tetrahedron is 120 centimeters. So this side is 120 from here to here. Center of the sphere coincides with corner of the tetrahedron like this. What is the radius of largest sphere that can be accommodated within the tetrahedron? So there will be a sphere like this, which will be the largest such sphere and that can be accommodated inside this tetrahedron. So one thing, center of this required sphere, center of required sphere is same as central of the tetrahedron. Central of tetrahedron. So if somehow I can find distance between centroid of the tetrahedron and one of its corners. Then from this distance, we can subtract radius of the sphere 40. We can subtract radius of this outer sphere. And then we get radius of this inner sphere. That will be the sphere of maximum size. So focus is finding this distance. Now, in equilateral triangle, in equilateral triangle, height of equilateral triangle is given by the formula root 3 by 2 times side. Root 3 by 2 times side will give you height of this equilateral triangle. That is one thing. Centroid of equilateral triangle is here, which divides this height in the ratio 2 is to 1. So suppose this height is 3 centimeter, then this distance is 2 centimeter, this distance 1 centimeter, 2 from vertex side. Suppose this side is 6 centimeter, then this will be 4 centimeter, this will be 2 centimeter. So that is one concept. Another concept. This is height of tetrahedron. This is height of tetrahedron. And this point is nothing but centered of this base equilateral triangle. Correct. Now, centered of tetrahedron. Let's say here we have centered of tetrahedron, which is nothing but center of that required sphere. This centered divide this complete height in the ratio 3 is to 1. This center divide this complete height in the ratio 3 is to 1. So suppose this length is 3, then this length will be 1. So total length is 4. Suppose total is 8, so this becomes 6, this becomes 2 and so on. So my first target is to find uh, this distance from here to here. Here we will have a right angle. Okay. Now the side given in the question is 120, right? That is side of tetrahedron. So this is 120. So this height, height of equilateral triangle in this case is nothing but root 3 by 2, 120, which is 60 root 3. 60 root 3, you divide in the ratio 2 is to 1. 2 is 2, one. so this is 2 part, this is 1 part, right? So 2x and x, 2x and x, 3x is 60 root 
3 axis 60 root 3 x is 20 root 3 so this will be 2x and this will be x 2 is to 1 ratio so this will be 40 root 3 so this is 40 root 3 now to find height h we can use pythagoras theorem because we know this a is nothing but 120 so by pythagoras theorem h square is equal to 120 square minus 40 root 3 square. So for 120, I just write 40 times 3 square minus. This is 40 root 3 square. I can take out 40 square common. So inside bracket, I have 3 square minus root 3 square, which is 40 square and this thing is 9 minus 3, 9 minus 3, which is 40 square times 6. So h is equal to square root of this, which is 40 root 6. So this height is 40 root 6. As we discuss, centroid divide this height in the ratio 3 is to 1. So that is total length is 4x. 4x is 40 root 6. 4x is 40 root 6. Hence, we have x equal to 10 root 6. And this is 3x. This length is 3x. So 3x is 30 root 6. So this length from here till here is 30 root 6. We see in this figure, this length we found from here till here is 30 root 6. Right? This is 30 root 6. From 30 root 6, you subtract 40. From 30 root 6, you subtract 40. This will give you radius of this field. That is our answer. Correct. So, value of root 6 is approximately 2.45. 2.45 right so root 6 is equal to 2.45 so you do 2.45 times 30 that is 30 root 6 what you forget by this are 50 3 are 12 in 1 13 3 6 in 1 7 73.50 right 73 73.50 minus 40 so that is 33.5. 33.5 is the radius of a required sphere. And that is the answer. In answer key, uh, the answer was written as between 32.5 to 34.5, right? They gave a range as 32.5 to 34.5. So our answer 33.5 is well within the range.